Hello and welcome once again. In this presentation, we shall be considering the mode key. As you can see, this particular key, the mode key. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like, and share this video. Now, if you press the mode key, you are going to have this particular list. Okay? Let's go and look at them one after the other. So now let's proceed by looking at each particular mode in the calculator. So let's start with the first one. The computation mode. In short, COMP. Okay. This particular mode enables you actually do basic calculations. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, square root of this. Simple, simple, simple expressions that you can write. Okay. You can also compose your own equation. Alright. Especially the linear ones in the composition mode. We shall be looking at some of these things very soon. Now, let's look at the complex number mode. The complex number mode enables your calculator to compute values and give those answers in imaginary numbers as and when they appear. At a senior high school level, this particular mode is not relevant. It is mostly relevant in um, tertiary institutions. Next, the statistics and regression mode, in short, STAT. This particular feature enables you to do so many calculations and data analysis under statistics. Okay, it can enable you draw frequency tables. We'll be looking at how to use this particular key or this particular mode to draw frequency distribution tables. You can also it can also help you do so many other calculations, all right, that are related to statistics, one variable, two variables, and so on and so forth. We shall look at those things very, very, very soon. The number four, number basis mode or base n. You know, this part enables you to convert from one base to another. That is basically the function of this particular mode. It enables you to convert from one base to another base. Okay. Normally, it some bases are not included. At least it is limited. There are a few of them that are uh, included in this particular mode. All right. So don't bring your hopes so high. There are some few ones we'll consider. Now we'll look at the equations mode. Now the equation mode or the EQN mode enables you do so many or solve so many equations. For instance, you can solve simultaneous equations in two variables, simultaneous equations in three variables. We can also look at solving quadratic equations, some polynomials, or like other polynomials and so on and so forth. So the equation mode is actually a very useful tool when it comes to helping every mathematics student. Now we'll look at the matrices mode, all right? This particular matrices also, uh, this particular mode looks at what matrices, how to determine certain types of calculations involving matrices. We shall also look at that one too in details. Then we'll have the function values or table, okay? This particular function enables you to create a set of ordered pairs. Let me repeat, a set of ordered pairs using a particular function or relation so under relations and functions you can actually use this particular function to generate your set of ordered pairs we shall also be looking at the uh, we shall also be looking at that one too in our future videos and the last but not the least which is the vector mode the vector mode actually enables you to calculate or to do some basic calculations involving vectors like multiplying a vector by a vector uh, scalar multiplication of vectors and so on and so forth we shall also be looking at that one too in a separate video now back to our calculator when you press one when it's in the mode display it selects the computation mode 
So when you select that, literally, it gives you a clear space to do any kind of calculation. So you can do 2 times 3, get your answer. If you want, you can take the square root of 5, get an answer. So this is just for other... Uh, of course, aside that, you can also do uh, key in variables. For instance, to access a variable x, you press alpha x, or sorry, alpha alpha x, before you can square it. We shall be looking at so many things you can do when the calculator is on the computation mode. All right, let's come back to our mode key again. The number two is a complex mode. When you press two, basically, there's nothing much to show, but it can perform calculations involving complex numbers. For instance, normally, you cannot find the square root of negative numbers when you are dealing with real numbers. But when your calculator is in complex mode, you can find values or answers for numbers that involve the square root of negative numbers. For instance, let's try it. If you put square root of negative 2, you get root 2i. The i here simply represents the square root of negative 1. Okay, so the i you see there simply means the square root of negative 1. Remember, on the, on the real number line, we can't find the square root of negative numbers. Okay, so that is basically what it is. Let me think about the computation mode. Normally, the default mode is a computation mode. Alright, so to select, let's go to the third one, statistics. Number three, under statistics, you see that we have so many things. One variable, um, data models with this kind of equation, linear models, natural log of x, and so on and so forth. So those are some of the things you can find under statistics. Please, we'll come to some of these things in the near future. Just relax and let's go on. Now, let's go back to the mode key again. Uh, go back to it. And then, you get to realize that if you press 4, alright, we have DECA. In other words, all answers are going to be displayed in base 10. Alright? Or the decimal, whatever. So, for instance, this is basically in what? In base 10. You see that all the numbers are going to be well displayed in base 10. Now, to convert this one to, let's say, uh, base 8, base 8, as you can see, you have oct. Okay? So, when you press that, you see that it gives you the number in base 8. Okay? I said that this calculator does not cover all the number bases. Binary, that is in base 2. When you press here, it changes it to base 2 for you. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. If you want it in base 10, you can press it back again and then it gives it to you in base 10. So there are so many things you can do when it is in what? The number base mode. Alright? So let's go back again to the setup. Now, the next one is the equations mode. That one is gotten by pressing the number 5. If you press number 5, we have what? We have number 1, simultaneous equations involving two variables. Number 2, simultaneous equations involving three variables. Number three, quadratic equations. Number four, polynomials of degree three. So these are basically the type of equations that can be solved under the equations mode. We shall be looking at separate videos on each category. Let's continue. Let me press the mode key once again. Okay, press the on key first. Then I press the mode key. Now, let's move to the next one, which is the matrices, number 6. Now, when you press matrices, it gives you matrix A, matrix B, matrix C. All right? Those are just names or labels you can give to the matrices you're about to input. Okay? For instance, if I select one, that, that means matrix A. Then I'm given the chance to select the dimensions of the matrix, whether 3 by 3, 3 by 2, 3 by 1, 2 by 3, 2 by 2 and 2 by 1 and so on and so forth. For instance, if I select option 1, I end up having a 3 by 3 matrix. The number of columns are 3 and the number of rows are also 3. Okay, we're not going to go into the details of this. We shall also look at that one too under a separate tutorial. Okay, let's go back to setup. Then, if you select the mode key once again, if you press the mode key once again, now the next option is table number 7. Okay, so when you select 7, that is a mode key. Now, this particular particular uh, mode gives you the ability to create a set of ordered pairs. Okay, for instance, if I want to, if I want the set of ordered pairs for the relation f of x is equal to, let's say, x squared 
plus 1, I have to first of all define my domain. Okay? If I define my domain, then the table will be produced. Now, when you press equal to right here, so now the start value is 1. Then, the next value, I can choose my start value to be negative 3. And my end value to be, let's say, 2. And my step value is just the amount each particular value increases. So, I can leave the step value to be 1. And I, then I press my equal to. See that my table forms. That means when you input negative 3, you get 10. If you input negative 2, you get 5. Alright? We shall be looking at more of that also in future tutorials. Now, next, let's go back to the mode key once again for the last one, which is the vectors. Now, that one is number 8. When you press 8, of course, it also gives you predetermined labels that you can name your vectors with. Okay? So, for instance, if I select option 1, now, when I press vectors, now I'm asked whether I'm looking for a vector that has two, comp uh, two components or three components. The first option here talks about three components, and the second one talks of what? Two components. Now, normally at the senior high school level, it is the two component vectors that we we'll often look at. All right, I think probably is, unless it is selective mass. Now, if I press option two, you see that my vector appears, but in a way, it appears as a linear, in a linear form. That doesn't mean that you can't manipulate with it. Just know that the first component represents the X component. Second one is, is the Y component. All right. So this is basically what the mode key gives you. Is understood. Now listen, normally if you want to take it back to the default computation mode, you press your mode key once again and you press option one. It will clear everything and then you can work with it and of course do whatever you want to do. Thank you for your time and may the Lord God Almighty bless you all. Goodbye.